Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And uh, the, the, I've got a couple of different articles up here I wanted to share with you. But the information I'm going to be speaking about is more direct. Killer asteroid hitting Earth in 2022. Here is what NASA says. Uh, and also this article here, Asteroid Impact in Atlantic Ocean Could Wipe Out Millions, warns scientists. But in both cases, even in this one about asteroid hitting the Earth in 2022, I'm not going to be talking to you specifically about this particular asteroid that they're talking about. But some information that was uh, shared with me from a Pentagon source there that knows the scientists that track asteroids and shared with me some information that I was told to, if I wanted to speak about it, it would be okay, but do it wisely and cautiously. We have, when I say we, the U.S. government, the scientists have discovered a new asteroid headed towards Earth. It's nothing to do with this one here about the 2022. And as of, as of now, as far as a date disclosure, that has not been given to me only roughly about three years out. I want to read to you first a little bit here from this article here, and then I'm going to go into the details that have been shared with me. And by the way, this has not been made public by NASA or any other groups thus far, what I'm going to speak about. I did speak of this uh, information with Bonnie Harvey on Flashpoint uh, last night. So I think that's already aired, aired on Hebrew Nation Radio for the first time. Uh, but I wanted to share these things with you and also share with you what the government is doing to try to keep this particular asteroid from striking planet Earth uh, and where it will strike, etc. But let's first look at the article right here. Asteroid impact in Atlantic Ocean could wipe out millions, warned scientists. A scientist has warned that an asteroid striking the Atlantic Ocean could wreak havoc by sending huge ripples of waves devastating uh, surrounding coastal regions and affecting millions of people. This particular scientist, uh, Starkly, says if we fail in the future to protect the planet from space threats, then we could expect a large asteroid or common impact to wreak havoc on the Earth's surface, resulting in major global change and high death tolls. It's anyone's guess how many millions of peoples would be directly or indirectly affected by a tsunami radiating out from an impact location in the middle of the Atlantic or Pacific Ocean. All right, so this is kind of what she speaks about there. I'll, I'll post this article so you can look at this for yourself a little bit later. But what are we talking about? Uh, it was disclosed to me the other day when I was in different, I was in quite a few different meetings here recently uh, with the situation that is going on in Iran. Very, very tense, very volatile situation, which I'll be speaking about uh, a little bit later. In fact, I might just go ahead and speak about it on this video here, the situation with Iran as well. But it was shared with me that, uh, that, we, that the scientists community, the space scientists community, uh, here in the United States have detected an asteroid about the size of a very large house uh, that is headed towards Earth. And this asteroid is expected to impact the Atlantic Ocean, uh, roughly a three-year time window. Uh, and, and I would have to say that if they know it's going to hit the Atlantic Ocean and they know where it's going to hit the Atlantic Ocean, I'm sure they've already calculated precisely what day, what minute, what hour as well. But that information is not being disclosed to me as of yet, just giving me a rough window of three years. This asteroid is anticipated to hit near the Bermuda Triangle uh, off the coast of Florida, southern Florida. Uh, I was told that if it does, and that there is a 70% probability that it will impact the ocean and that's where it would impact it at, that the tsunami itself would pretty much wipe out Southern Florida. Uh, the scientists are also saying that the waves will go, comp go right up the coastline of the United States, wiping out uh, a large portion of the coastline of Georgia all the way up to North Carolina and that the waves would go clear into the mountains 
of North Carolina. And it seems like an asteroid that size would not create that big of a tidal wave because a large house, yes, it's a big rock, but, uh, but this is what I'm being told. Now, I've also, it's also been shared with me though that uh, the, the, our, we have in the past deflected uh, asteroids. We do have the capability to destroy asteroids, or at least to cause them to go in a different orbit to, to try to avoid hitting the Earth. And of course, they've got whatever their time frame is, if it's three years, they do have the time to be able to try to do this with this asteroid as well, and that they are actively looking for a solution to deal with this particular rock because of the devastating impact it would have on the Earth. But there are challenges, as I've been told. The challenges are its size. The size, although it is big but not overly big, makes it very difficult for tracking it. Larger asteroids are easier to track, and as I was told, they're also easier to knock off course or even destroy. Uh, we know that, that we have what we call a rail gun. The U.S. has a rail gun. I believe this is where people talk about tungsten rods, things like that. The railgun that we have can not only be turned and used on Earth, but it can also be turned and used against extraterrestrial bodies coming in. And the impact that these things have is very successful. And there are a number of other ways that they may try to destroy this asteroid as it comes in. But again, it's the size of it that I've been told that makes it the most difficult. It's not big enough to quite have such an accurate strike on it, let alone, as I've been told, the tracking of it. But what really caused me a, an interest was when I spoke about this too uh, last night with Bonnie Harvey on uh, her program, she mentioned to me there was a, a, a man by the name of Rodriguez that prophesied about an incoming asteroid. And according to Bonnie, he said that that asteroid would hit the Atlantic Ocean near the Bermuda Triangle and that it would wipe out Puerto Rico. That was another interesting thought because I was also told that many of the islands down in that area would be totally devastated from this particular asteroid that's incoming as well. So we still have time, no doubt, as I've been told, you've got about three years at least. Uh, but that's a very significant situation that we're about to face. And I will update you as I get updates as well. As I said, I was told that by the end of 2021, they will have a much better feel of what they're going to be able to do. Uh, if they're able to destroy it, knock it off course, or are we going to have to brace for an impact? That I don't really know. And maybe I will save uh, the other part of the information on um, uh, the Iran issue for a separate broadcast. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israel.